What's up guys? What's up gals? Hope everyone is well. So, interesting week actually. And the check-ins, and I actually looked over some from last year as well, have started to take a bit of a change. And for a lot of the time, I believe this is because fashion changes at this point in the year, where we go from summer and warm clothes to more wintry style clothes. And I feel that that has caused quite some conflict with a lot of people in maybe they haven't worn this clothes in a long time and all of a sudden it doesn't fit, it's too big, it's too small. Some people have revelations of, hey, I don't need this anymore, throw it out. Some people have a lot of difficulties. And on top of all of that, a lot of celebrations are happening this time of year. It seems that a lot of people are having more parties. I think people are becoming more confident and, and comfortable with things like COVID regulations and just COVID in general. But it's created quite an interesting few check-ins for me. And so today, I'm gonna to take you through a question that one of my clients asked me. And I asked her if I could speak about it on the podcast because I think it might be relevant and it actually produced quite a long conversation between the two of us that I think you guys might benefit from, at least some of you, and hopefully it gives you some food for thought going forward. So without further ado, welcome back to JLX Friends of Benefits podcast. I am your host as always, Danny Conover, and today I'm going to be taking you through a question that a client asked me that I responded to. I'm not going to go into the details of the response I gave her specifically because each an individual person has their own response, but I wanted to talk through it with you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to read out the question, okay? So the question was, I'm not sure if you can help with this, but I mentioned in my last check-in that I was going out for a friend's birthday at the weekend. I got so caught up in what I was wearing that I burst into tears, told her I had a migraine, and didn't go. The truth is, uh, sorry, the truth is, my clothes are all too small, but I didn't want to give in and wear something baggy because I would feel like a failure. Ah, what do I do? So this is quite an interesting question, and I think an interesting scenario, and equally a very difficult one. I know this individual very well, we've worked with one another now for over a year and a half, so it's something which I was able to help her probably more on a deeper level, because of course I know her very well. But for those of you listening who are maybe going through something like this at the moment, where you're looking at clothes and thinking this is going to be a bit tight, maybe a bit uncomfortable, or shall I just push through and wear it because actually that shows more strength and I don't want to feel like a failure to myself and all of that stuff. Here's what I said. So first and foremost, if I dissect the question and things that we discussed, we've got here that we're going out for a friend's birthday. Now, I know for a fact that the individual who, um, who we, I'm talking about here finds some social events quite anxiety uh, invoking. And that's mostly because in the past she's had very low self-esteem and so they creep up again. Um, she won't mind me saying that and I think she's done an amazing job in feeling more comfortable. She's done an amazing job in working on herself and becoming more comfortable with going out and with drinking alcohol because like she said, she likes drinking alcohol but she always felt like it was an absolute no-no because it's a bad food, quote unquote. So. Interestingly, I feel like with her, there was a, a little bit of anxiety already about the night out because she hadn't been in so much control of situations before it. So it was actually a surprise night out that she'd mentioned to me in a check-in um, the, the week before and said, look, it's just come up, we're going out on Friday night. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, but I am apprehensive. So there was already a bit of apprehension about the night out before the closed scenario. So it's worth saying that. And it's also worth saying that because for you guys listening to this, if you have situations at home or uh, with work or anything where you think, God, oh, that really did get to me, try and think outside the box a little bit. Try and think, why did that get to me? Was it the situation specifically that really got to me? Or was there something that was already under the skin, already there working away that actually I didn't acknowledge? And this is something that we discussed. So when I went through this with her, I kind of spoke about that. So as I was saying, the important thing to look at here is not just the situation, but if you know you're gonna to go to an event that potentially makes you a little bit anxious, or you're thinking, oh, do I really wanna to go to that? Not too sure. It's really important that you acknowledge those feelings. It's really important that you take them on board. It's important that you listen to them and confirm them, I guess. It's not about taking those thoughts in and being like, oh, that's a weak thought, I'm not having that. It's about taking in and accepting that a part of you feels apprehensive about that situation. A part of you feels like maybe there's something 
that you don't want to do. Maybe there's something you feel uncomfortable doing, or maybe someone there who makes you feel uncomfortable. If you don't accept these things as a thought that's come into your mind, it's very easy for them to then creep up on you in the moment. So if you just let it come in and it goes out straight away, rather than kind of let it come in, think on it for a moment, maybe journal about it, write it down, and work through it. Sorry, <laughs> hello Rocket. If you're watching this on YouTube, my cat has decided to join me. Um, then it's really important to actually acknowledge those feelings rather than try and stick them in a box and ignore them. So the, the next point then is, okay, what are we gonna do about the clothing situation? So here is what I said to her, in, and I would encourage you guys to consider this as a point of view as well. So we got so caught up with what we were wearing, she got burst into tears, we got very anxious of course, and overwhelmed with the situation. Um, a whole array of thoughts came through then of, I guess self-worth doubts, um, you don't look good in anything, and all of these things, which I think for a lot of women, especially women who I've worked with in the past and, and do work with now are very common. Um, in, in terms of the situation. So there's a couple of things I would say. Firstly, the fear of failing here potentially is what led to the outcome of the not going out at all. So I'm not gonna call not going out a failure. I don't think that's a fair thing to say, but I would say that because we were so worried about getting the right outcome, we ended up with neither outcome. It's a little bit like saying, if you can't have it, none of us can and then smashing the food up or throwing it in the bin or whatever so in this situation what i think it's very beneficial to do is actually accept that sometimes we're not going to feel comfortable wearing a certain item of clothing maybe you've just come on your period you've got pms you're feeling very bloated anyway and naturally you're not going to want to wear something that's super super hugging super tight because you maybe don't feel your best physically now it's important to note that if you don't feel your best physically, that may then contribute to you not feeling your best mentally. And a lot of people don't consider that. Actually, it's not that we're uncomfortable in our own skin and that we feel um, kind of harsh on ourselves. It's just actually, we are actually uncomfortable. You know, So in those situations, is it right for us to go, I'm gonna push through, I'm gonna wear that super tight dress that I, I was planning on wearing? Or do we need to be adaptable? Do we need to be flexible then and say, actually, the best thing I can do here is just choose a different dress that I'm gonna feel comfortable in, and because I feel com uh, comfortable, I'm going to feel more confident. That would be the route I would take, because at the end of the day, if you're going there with your friends and you feel more comfortable, the chances are you're gonna have a much better time than if you force yourself into something out of not wanting to fail, feeling uncomfortable, then the whole night you're there feeling a bit self-conscious potentially, uh, and obviously that's not gonna to lead to, to a good evening for you. The other thing I would recommend doing, and a lot of people do do this, is keeping clothes that they want to then fit into in the future. I would recommend against doing this. I understand why people do it from like a goal setting perspective, but if you want to do that, maybe just keep one item or two at the maximum, but don't keep loads of them in your cupboard. So every time you open your drawers or your cupboards, all you see is all the items you no longer fit into because that in itself is gonna be pretty sad for you each time you open the drawer, you're reminded of something that you once had and don't have anymore. The actual psychological concepts of that, I think, and the mindset around that is for a completely different podcast and I could talk about that for a long time. The point I'm importantly trying to make here is that if there is a goal of you getting, you know, losing some weight back into a dress that you once fitted into, sure, keep that dress. But don't every time you go out, try that dress on because it's not gonna value, it's not gonna add value to you. And in fact, it's probably just gonna make your life a little bit worse. My point then would be, get rid of the clothes that no longer fit you. Give them to charity, give them to somebody else you know who might like them and fill your drawers with things that you feel good in. You know, Buy clothes that fit you, not you trying to fit into clothes. Because fundamentally, it, it's, it's, it's mental, mental torture for you every time you go out. What I would also recommend doing is having a couple of outfits which you know you're gonna feel comfortable in, even if you're having more bloated days or you feel a bit subconscious, you feel a bit, um, sorry, self-conscious, not subconscious, and you're you know, having those days where you just don't feel yourself, because then what you've got is a backup plan. You have already got a plan B. And when you open your drawers, the pressure is coming off straight away because you look down and you think, actually, I could, I actually do feel really good today. I'm, I'm feeling quite confident. I'm gonna wear the, the super tight fitting one. 
or if you don't you've already got your second option sat right there ready for you and you can feel more comfortable more confident in wearing that one it's all about having a backup plan that suits the expectations of the time and if all you have in your cupboards or drawers is fundamentally tight tight fitting clothing because normally you feel great the one time you don't you end up with a situation a bit like this now I think the other thing to, to note here is that that not wanting to fail yourself and I know a lot of people a lot of my clients especially are challenging themselves at the moment with different uh, body image things with different mindset things and so one of these things that we set um, for this client was to challenge these thoughts and she really did try to challenge thoughts in this instance where we were looking at things that would benefit us and serve us in the long run but sometimes what happens in us doing that is we end up actually causing ourselves more stress so what I think it's really important to do in these situations is to say okay am I serving myself well by fighting this or am I actually contributing negatively to my, my current state my current mindset and in this instance if we could have done and we could analyze this from like a video for example to look down on it from that third person would be to say do you think your state was getting better by you really trying to push through or do you think it was getting worse and in this situation, I truly believe it was getting worse, hence the comment about bursting into tears and then obviously having to pull out of the night out altogether. So my, my point would be here, what can we do that serves us better in that instance? The better thing to do would say, actually, there are times where I'm gonna push through, but I can really see that this is getting to me and it's really quite upsetting. So I'm gonna count this as a win. The win here for me is that I am knowing that this isn't a good time to push forward. I know myself. I know that this isn't something that I need to push through because it's not serving me in this instance. That to me is a big win. And wins don't always come in the case of you pushing through something. Sometimes it's knowing when not to. Sometimes it's knowing when actually to show compassion to yourself, be kind to yourself, and then be able to pick yourself back up, put on something that's maybe a bit looser, a bit more comfortable, for example, and be there to fight another day. Go out, enjoy the night out, have a great time with your friends and not miss that social occasion for something that we may or may not have been able to overcome in the moment, but actually sometimes just pulling out and saying, hey, I tried, I thought about it, and today wasn't the day for that confrontation with myself. Folks, that is all for today. Just a quick one from me. I wanted to cover that because I know it's affected a lot of my clients recently in one way or another. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick download and, and hopefully it helps one of you. As always, if you enjoy this podcast, please like, share, and if you do share it to social media channels, please tag us because we really do appreciate it. Um, it helps pass our message on and hopefully spread the word that we're trying to get out. And fundamentally, you know, help everyone a little bit further. Guys, as always, do what you can with what you have. But for now, take good care. Bye-bye.